Can you talk a little bit about the WWE as far as acquiring the biography for, for yeah. A&E? Can you kind of share that story with our listeners? Sure. Uh, so this happened about early COVID, I would say. Uh, we were just finishing up. We weren't totally done with it yet. We were still, we were probably halfway through the music. And um, we showed the, the WWE, the documentary, because we needed to license the WWE footage. And WWE called us back a day later and said, well, we would like to purchase this instead. Uh, and we said, yes. Uh, so, and, you know, and, and it, it worked out to, it worked out to be a blessing because, you know, like I said, in documentary, there's not a lot of money and, you know, having all that footage available to us, footage, photos, personalities, you know, you free access to the footage, right? That's Alex? great. Total access. Yeah. And so that, that, that is a blessing. Um, also, you know, we have a lot of Olympic footage as well. And that's, you know, you know, that's a whole other uh, category of <laughs> How much did that cost? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's amazing is that uh, NBC uh, owns Olympic footage. So it worked out well. It ended up on Peacock. Okay, yeah. Oh, there you go. But um, so when WWE acquired this movie, they, uh, they sent it to A&E because they had a partnership with A&E. And A&E didn't quite understand how it would fit into their show uh wwe legends the biography series because and because w the a e wasn't familiar with my backstory and why i chose to make this film with kurt and stuff like that um so they were a little bit confused when they saw it and they uh kind of morphed it into something else they morphed it into something and it, it's to it totally makes sense what they did in the context of where they're sitting because they took it and they made it into a pro wrestling episode. Yes. Which you can't blame them for that, for, for that series, for their series. Yeah. And you know what? It get, uh, I'm a glass half full type of guy. And yeah. uh, I, I, I'm happy that this gets to have two different lives to it. One for that fan base. And hopefully this reaches a different type of fan base, but at the end of the day, I, I I see it as a as a total blessing that we were end up able to end up with the WWE, and it's it's you know Kurt and I did have to scratch and claw a little bit to get this version of it shown, and huh. it, 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 so we almost in a way we willed it into existence. Um, we we willed it into being made at first, and then we willed it into uh, being shown, and now we're I, I I'm hoping that. Kurt's fans help us will it into re uh, relevance uh, because I do think at the end of the day, I'm really proud of what we did. I do think we made something special and unique and, uh, and I, I would love any support we can get in making this version uh, a special, give it a special life within itself.